All right, my beautiful lions and lionesses, welcome back, welcome back. Um, if you want to see me shuffle the cards, that's over on YouTube. We can just start with your reading here. These are the cards that came out. The underlying theme or challenge of your reading is the Five of Spears. So as I was saying, this is an energy of conflict. Uh, people having differing opinions, possibly. It is, a, it is your fire sign energy. Um, I'm definitely seeing, um, well, there's five people in this card, so uh, I don't feel like this is just you who aren't, who's not getting along. I feel like this is a group of people who are arguing, not seeing each other's point of view, or, or this can also be difficult negotiations. Let's see what's under that. Strength. Well, you're remaining in your power, Leo, throughout this. Uh, people may not like uh, or have different opinions than you. Um, things may not be so cut and dry this month. Obviously, um, something can be a bit of a struggle because the five of the five of spears or the five of wands talks about petty hassles and struggles and annoying obstacles. Annoying, annoying obstacles. Things that cause internal conflict as well as external conflict. Conflict is brewing. That's what I'm getting here. So let's let's see what what's causing conflict here for you. This latter, this middle of the month to the end of the month. So in your recent past, we do have the Moon card. Uh, this is a Cancerian energy, Cancer energy. Could be dealing with a Cancer. So the Moon talks about the unknown, our our deepest, darkest fears, doubts. Um, you know, not really maybe seeing things clearly, not seeing things by the light of day. So there is definitely this. Um, a feeling of, of something also being revealed, needing to use our intuition. Um, the moon casts shadows, but they're not the same as with the sun. Um, the shadows that the moon casts are even dealing with our own illusion, an, an illusion, okay? But I see you're moving out of that. So I, I see you moving out of that with the Six of Swords here, which is an Aquarius energy. For those of you interested in, in deacons and astrology, I think this is the second or third deacon of, of Aquarius. Um, moving from stormy waters to calm waters. Moving out of illusion. Moving from, obviously we just left Pisces season behind. Thank God. You know, so, um, even in the recent past here. Uh, moving away from your doubts. Moving away from doubts and fears. Moving away from things that are, um, have been casting a shadow, things that have been causing maybe even some mental distress or, or even PTSD and, and just weird, uh, you know, weird psychological phenomena and healing. There's a lot of um, psychological healing here for you, deep emotional healing. You are coming up in the spread as the king of spears in reverse. So this is the king of wands in reverse here. Um, so something here... You're, you're, you're fully manifested in your energy, Leo. You're coming up very strongly. However, in the reverse position, there could be something blocking your energy. We're going to want to find out what that is. Um, I will go ahead and clarify this core card. We also have the lovers in reverse, which is a Gemini energy. Could be dealing with a could have been dealing with a Gemini in your past. The lovers is the soulmate energy, and then here it's also could be twin flame soulmates. Um, you know, really struggling with with seeing eye to eye with someone. This feels like a love situation where you, you know, you and moved on from one thing and you're still, um, I feel like the chemistry with someone here is it fizzles out or uh, maybe you are, if you are in a strong relationship, if you're in a very, um, this is like a, 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 a soul bond, I'm hearing a soulmate bond, uh, a strong bond with someone here. Um, that bond is very hard to break. And with the lovers in reverse here, it's telling me that um, you may be dealing with someone who who's, you, have, you had a soulmate contract with, and that contract is, is nearing its end or is over. And... Uh, you're, I'm, I'm sensing frustration and anger and, and all kinds of bottled up, emotion, bottled up emotions here with this King of Spears in reverse in your past. So let's go ahead and see why. Why is King of Spears coming up reversed in Leo's past? Okay. 
And we have um, the King of um, Pentacles here, or the King of Coins, you might call him. Uh, so this is an Earth sign energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Some of you could be dealing with Earth signs. Um, they can be, they can be a little bit controlling. I'm definitely seeing a sexual energy here. Maybe not quite, Leo, maybe not quite your bag. Um, I feel like um, there's sexual frustration is actually what I'm getting. Uh, sexually frustrated with an earth sign or someone that has earth placements. King of Coins is someone that is a good provider or he or she can be a... I usually see him as the um, breadwinner, patriarch, father figure, um, someone who is extremely stable, um, does like the finer things in life. Um, what else do we need to know about this King of Spears coming up in reverse? What else do we need to know about this King of Spears coming up in reverse? And we have the Knight of Wands, which is your energy, Leo. Um, I feel like you're, you're dealing with an earth sign, but you're, you are, um, you're quickly moving into unknown territory with this person, um, without having cut, closed the door behind you. So you're moving into uncharted territory here, which is kind of like the moon card, um, you know, with this person in this relationship. It seems like um, there seems to be some issue with your chemistry, how you relate. Um, like I said, if this is a soulmate relationship, it feels like it's expired or it's past its time. What else do we need to know about this King of Spears in reverse? It's a pretty frisky energy, that, that Knight of Wands, though. Um, you know, adventurous in love, flirtatious, all the things. Yeah, you have the Four of Pentacles here. So, luxurious, luxury, apathy, boredom. Um, you don't really feel like opening up to this person or opening up to anyone. You probably, um, or this could also be this earth sign here. Something here is un an unsatisfying experience for you. It leaves you feeling like, um, I feel like you just want to get away from this person and like be alone after you're with them. Or there could also be a feeling of being alone, even in a relationship. Okay, so let's see what's going on in your current situation. You do have the Seven of Cups. How are we doing? I'm sorry guys, I do have to check the, make sure the timer is still going. Oh, the clock's still going on there. Seven of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, Empress reversed, and Ten of Swords reversed. And I keep saying the traitor, see uh, the word traitor here. I don't know if you guys can see that. With this Ten of Swords in reverse, uh, hard to miss. Could be dealing with a traitor. Could be dealing with a traitor this, this week or just in your current situation. There could be a traitor in the mist. A traitor in the mist. Um... With the Seven of Cups, we have the Warg, you know, if you guys watch Game of Thrones, I just watched the premiere yesterday, pretty awesome. Uh, there seems to be some confusion right now, this is Neptune and Pisces, who obviously have many options to contemplate here, it could be brainstorming. Um, there's a feeling here of um, being in the imagination, being in the imaginative realms. This is actually Scorpio energy, Scorpio Deacon 3. It's a feeling of, um, you know, underneath the moon card of a similar energy. This is Cancer energy, Cancerian energy, and this is the triplicity of Cancer in the Seven of Cups with that Scorpio Deacon. So here it's really about um, fantasy, fantasy and illusion. Um, all the what ifs, you know, thinking about your future your past, your present, all of it, and just kind of um, what is what comes to mind, you know, what is coming to your mind here. Um, there's fast changes, there's big changes happening for you currently. They seem very positive. You've got Jupiter energy with Wheel of Fortune. That's Jupiter 
currently retrograding in Sag, but it looks like it's this is benefiting you currently. Things do, um, you know, this is this represents your destiny, um, destiny unfolding before your eyes, and I'm even seeing the lion up here. You know, so there's. Big changes happening um, behind the scenes as well. Um, growth, expansion, new opportunities coming to you, Leo. Um, you have a great imagination at this time. You, make sure you write your ideas down because I see someone here who has brilliant ideas. The ability to brainstorm multiple avenues, to see multiple futures. Um, I'm going to want to clarify the Empress here in reverse. This is a Venusian energy. She represents the mother, the mother figure, the nurturer. Um, but someone here isn't feeling very nurturing or they're not um, exploring their abundance fully. They're not living in abundance. Some of you could be having trouble with a mother figure. Also, the Empress represents someone who is having health problems. Yes, it could be even fertility problems. Um, someone who isn't feeling well. Um, this could also be someone who's very jealous, jealous, possessive, and mean. We want to figure out who she is because she's next to this card that represents the traitor. Ten of Swords Reverse is someone who's clinging to something that is very much over, someone that is reliving painful experiences or having some kind of a relapse. This could be someone whose bad health is relapsing or someone who is going through... Um, they're not able to, or they're trying to let go of, of painful words, painful things. Um, but someone here has um, experienced the betrayal. And this is reliving that memory. It could be with regards to a mother figure. Why is the Empress coming up in reverse in Leo's current situation? Why is the Empress coming up reversed in Leo's current situation? We have the Six of Coins. This seems to be an energy of someone who's very giving. Um, you know, Six of Coins can be a very transactional energy, but it's definitely um, in terms of the material world, the physical world, um, there's riches here, there's things being shared. Um, even someone who can share their love. Um, but why do I feel like this is talking about... I feel like this card should be coming up reversed. I feel like you could be dealing with someone who feels unloved due to the fact that it could be they could be in a one-sided relationship or um, something's not quite fair, something's not quite equal. We have the Magician here. Um... The Magician, um, you know, I've seen this come up as a Scorpio energy as well as a Sag, Virgo, Gemini. Could be dealing with any of those signs. Um, but with the Empress in Reverse and the Magician, this is definitely someone that wants to make something happen with you. Or they're trying to manifest, but the way that they're doing it, they feel that I'm seeing someone who's very blocked in terms of their ability to do that. This can also be someone who's very manipulative. Magicians are... Um, Magicians can be manipulative. They can because they're able to, with their words, with their speech, with their thoughts, um, they can manifest out of thin air these things. Um, this seems like someone that wants to manifest an equal relationship with you or wants to give and take with you, but they're uh, coming at it the wrong way. They're extremely... Jealous, possessive, mean, smothering. Um, I'm getting possessiveness here. Why is the Empress coming up reverse for Leo? I just heard Pisces. Mm. Why is the Empress coming up reverse for Leo? Eight. Uh, this should be... <clears throat> Interesting. Um, yeah, normally this is the strength card. 
why do I, there's two cards in here that are um, very similar. Let me just check because we don't want to make a mistake. Okay, so in this deck we have eight is justice. The fantastic being of impartiality, equity, and courage. Can be someone here who wants justice or wants things to be fair. This can also be someone that wants revenge. They want um, to set the record straight. Uh, I'm getting that this is someone that really means business, Leo. Um, but like I said, I feel like the problem that I'm having with this energy is um, too possessive, too jealous. Um, too smothering. And also, in terms of their mental state, um, this can be someone that is clinging on to their hurt, refusing to let go, refusing to let go. Needing, They need to clear their energy. And if this is you, um, likewise. Likewise. Um, let's clarify the Ten of Swords in reverse. Why is the Ten of Swords reversed? Okay, a couple cards here. This one came out last. This one came out second and first. Okay, so we've got the Two of Swords, a stalemate situation. Um, someone who's refusing to see something or refusing to say that they how they feel. Um, deep ingrained um, issues here. Deeply ingrained issues. Um, a dangerous card too because. Two of Swords here is literally um, being stuck in limbo in between two mental states um, and, and not letting go, you know. So we have the Three of Cups here. Uh, I'm seeing two females, but this doesn't have to be a same-sex relationship. Um, but it does represent friendship here, friendship more than love. It could also be a third party situation here. Or someone that's staying in a situation where, um, and then we have the Ace of Cups. There seems to be love here, love and friendship, but also new feelings. But someone is refusing to say that they love you or someone is refusing to acknowledge um, that they they do want a friendship with you and they want, uh, they are starting to have feelings again. Uh, so maybe not as bad as I previously thought. Oh, I just, I just bent this card. I just got this deck. That does not please me at all. Um, anyway. This seems to be with, with regards to a friend, now that I'm looking at it. Um, I'm also seeing a lot of emotions coming to the surface here. This is in, this is likely the end, towards the end of the week for you, Leo. <laughs> Going into the future, you have the hanged man, which is Pisces, Exalted, and Leo. Some situation here, um, has you on hold. This is a card of non-action. Um, literally. So you're being given the opportunity to see things from a different perspective. But the advice with the hanged man is not to take action. Observe your situation as though you are an impartial stranger looking in. What do you see? You may also be receiving important downloads at this time. Um, if you're dealing with an air sign, I do see an air sign coming into your reading. We'll want to clarify him. This energy, this King of Swords reverse, I'm seeing someone here who's lying, aggressive with their words. Um, this is definitely someone who could be bending the truth or someone who's trying to quit or get out of a relationship. Why is the King of Swords coming up reversed in Leo's future? Why is the King of Swords coming up reversed in Leo's future? Interesting, we have um, the devil and coming up sideways here. Uh, this is someone who, I'm getting a little bit of a toxic energy around this person. It's also the sign of Capricorn. Um, 
I'm also getting this is someone that can't leave a situation or they feel very bound to it um, or they're trying to get out of it. They're trying to stop an addictive habit or they're trying to get out of an addiction. Um, ten of coins here. Uh, this is someone also that is cognizant of like the tribal laws, the laws of society, you know. They are a family person. They like the ritual and tradition that comes along with money and success. They can also have an addiction to money and success. Um, this can be, for example, that earth sign you're dealing with or someone that has Capricorn in their chart. Two more cards here. Four of Cups and the Knight, sorry, the, the Knave of Cups here. So with the Four of Cups, um, I'm getting that, um, yeah, the, the, this situation has been disappointing. Um, I'm getting for you, Leo, and um, while there is, there is, there is some, um, but the Knave of Cups is like the Page of Cups here. It's an immature energy. You know, it's kind of like um, there might be sweet messages and sweet talk, but in general, I feel like this is a very unfulfilling. This person does not fulfill you. I don't feel Leo. This person does not fulfill you. Maybe they're a little bit bored. I'm seeing boredom, and I'm seeing a little bit of um, immaturity coming from them. And I, I do see air sign here. With death in reverse, Leo, it feels like something is ending here, but we're also not confronting some changes, Scorpio energy. Death reversed on the world. Whether you like it or not, something is coming to an end, though. Major cycle coming to an end with the world completion. This is very good. Um, we also have here, uh, this can be... Long distance travel, communications, long distance relationships. But I'm getting that there is something in your life that is getting wrapped up here in the future. Um, this would be the end of next week. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, um, you know, I feel like they're, they're refusing to confront something. They're refusing to address something or they're running away from a situation. Um, if if uh, you happen to have any Scorpio in your chart... Um, something is, is definitely trying to end with an air sign, but, and I'm definitely seeing the fixed signs, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, and Aquarius coming up for you with the world. A wonderful card to end on, though. A wonderful card to end on, um, you know, for a mid-month reading. So, I'm definitely feeling like you are, um... There's a huge life lesson here. You're, you're going to be learning a huge life lesson. And this is something you can be very proud of. Um, I'm also getting that you're just, just getting a huge a, a huge perspective on something here. Just seeing everything. Your, your vision has expanded incredibly this time. Your outcome cards are the tower reversed and the fool in reverse. So the tower in reverse, we have a little bit of a shake up, a little... Time to shake things up, a little bit of a wake-up call. Someone here can be restless, reckless. Um, you're dealing with a, a fool. You're dealing with someone who also lacks a lot of trust, doesn't have a lot of trust for a situation. Um, you know, they're... Um, also, someone can be... Someone can be... Um, catching that, but that creates a lot of distrust for you. Um, we have Aries energy as well here. Aries Virgo. Right? Um, I, I would like to draw an oracle message. Yes, I would. I'm just thinking about which deck I want to use. Because I haven't really... <clears throat> I haven't thought too much about it. Uh, before. Let's do the um, Ancient Animal Wisdom deck here. See what yeah, spirit animal you get, Leo. Oh, 
restlessness, recklessness, catching something before it. There's, a, there's at least two cards here that suggest that something is ending, but it, the, a, a change is being blocked here. You're refusing to let go. Clinging on to something here. But with the Wheel of Fortune and the world, something will end. Something will reach conclusion uh, in a positive way. But in, uh, in another sense, there's other things here. There's something else here that you're not very happy with. It seems to be a relationship. Let's see, what um, ancient animal wisdom can we get for Leo? What ancient animal wisdom can we get for Leo? Honey badger. Whew. Honey badger don't care. Honey badger, the most ferocious. The most ferocious. And also, wow, what a thick skin a honey badger has. Um, to get those little ants, to get whatever he wants, he will get stung a thousand times. He will, uh, literally, the honey badger will, to get that sweet honey, he will get stung a thousand times. Um, really, such a fierce animal. Yeah, and the, uh, the word is fierce. Number 18, see, it says fierce. Fierce, Leo. Leo, it's time to access your personal power and advocate for yourself and your life direction. Yes. Advocate for yourself and your life direction. It's on you now. Honey Badger urges you, Leo, to assert your power and break through your personal boundaries. Break through your personal boundaries. It's possible to reclaim your fierce energy and use your assertiveness to create and protect, create and protect what you have manifested. Honey Badger stands his ground and does not back down to naysayers and who doubt his personal power. As a skilled digger, Honey Badger signals that you may need to dig deeper within to reach a solution, reach a solution for a challenge or task. Access the innate characteristics that Honey Badger shares with you while standing by your truth and integrity. Oh, I love that so much. And how fitting. Look at that fire. Look at that fierceness. Uh, I do sense a breakthrough coming. You are going to need to stick to your guns, Leo. Don't back down when faced with a challenge. Access your personal power. Break through. Okay, there is going to be a situation coming up for you where you are going to need to dig deep. You are going to need to stand your ground. It's now up to you. It's now down to you. It's down to you, Leo, to take control of your life. What direction do you want to go in? What do you want to manifest? A little bit of the magician here, but also a lot of that Leo energy coming through. So... If you want it, you're going to have to push for it. You're going to have to fight for it, right? We have the five of spears here, which goes perfectly with the honey badger. Have you ever seen a honey badger hunting for what it wants? Oh, it doesn't. It, it's got to fight for it. It will fight to the bloody end. And usually the honey badger wins because honey badger don't care. I think that's what I'm going to title your reading today. Leo, thank you so much for joining me today over here on Patreon. Thank you ever so much for your support over here. It really does mean a lot to me. And, and believe it or not, you guys do help keep this channel going. Yes, you do. Um, so I thank you for that. And I hope to see you back here uh, next month or the, the month after that. Sorry, um, unless I change my tiers soon, which I need to do. I need to uh, upgrade some things over on Patreon, but that will happen. Um, have a wonderful month, guys. I'll talk to you soon.